The game is really close to being finished, but what we really need to do is account for some scoring. If there's no scoring, then it's not a very fun game. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my text tool, and I'm going to make sure that it's on set to static text, and I've got an Arial font here. I'm going to take it down to, let's say, size 22. I've got to pick the color. I like this green color that we've been using, and I'll click on the stage. Notice I'm on layer 2 where I have my graphics, not layer 1 where the code is. And I'll just type score and then a colon. Alright, there it is. And then what I want to do is I want to get the text tool again and this time I'm going to click but I'm going to change it from static text to dynamic text. So this is going to be dynamic text I'll open up, drag open this dynamic text box. Notice that the font is Arial here. What I'm going to do for this dynamic text box is I'm going to change the anti-alias for animation to use device fonts. And I will also need to give it an instance name. So I'm going to give it the instance name score box and hit enter. Now when I go to get my selection tool. You can see here I'll drag it over there and deselect and you can see it gets a dotted outline around the box. So this, if we select it, it should say dynamic text, the anti-alias use device fonts, it has an instance name, this is probably the most important part, the instance name of score box. Now this score text I can also change this to use device fonts. Now, if you're using a fancy font in your game, what you might want to do is embed the font into your game. So if I'm really using some kind of fancy game font that I like, I'll probably want to embed it and embed the characters that I need, like let's say all the characters, and click OK. All right, now that we have a dynamic text box called Scorebox, we can code this so that we can get a score into the game. So I'll open up the Actions window. Let's go to the top and see if we have a score variable. We do. There it is. Score equals zero. So there's our score variable. So right below MC Lives, I can go scorebox.text equals score. And that will set the score box that we just created. You have to spell it correctly, of course to whatever the initial score variable is, which is zero. So when I start the game, I should see a zero there, and you can see I do. All right, another thing that I want to do is take this text box and make sure I have it align left so that as the numbers get larger, they spread out this way. So the question is, where do we add the code to handle the scoring? Well, that's actually pretty easy. We probably want to add the scoring code to the code that handles when we're shooting the asteroids and destroying the asteroids and breaking them up into smaller asteroids. So what we'll do is we'll open the action script window and we'll go down to the function where that happens. And that happens in the shot move function. This function gets called 65 times per second. It moves the shots or the bullets through the stage or across the screen and it tests to see if it, the bullets cross paths with the asteroids. And if they do, we get a hit test collision right here. So if this happens, then we have a collision, and then we test to see how big the asteroid is. And if it's a large asteroid, we break it into a smaller one and create a new one, duplicate it, or we remove the asteroid. So this is a good place to handle the scoring. Now to do it, I could add more if statements or to make the code simplified a little bit and to introduce a new concept we'll use a switch statement and the structure of a switch statement is like this and once again it's a little bit like a uh, if statement in that it handles conditions and so inside of the parentheses you put the condition and for the condition I'm gonna put asteroid underscore array open and close brackets with the I now this targets the asteroid in question. In other words, there's been a collision and this asteroid has been hit. Right In the array it's the one with I that we're currently looping through. So I'm going to say switch 
we want to look at that asteroid and we want to test to see dot underscore what is its X scale and so the condition is the asteroids size is it 100% size 50% or 25% and then we'll assign points based on the size of that asteroid so now the way this works is you type case 100 and this is in the event that the asteroids X scale is 100% you put case space 100 colon and then you put I'm going to tab over score plus equal 10 and that will add 10 to our score variable now our score variable is in all caps so I'm gonna to have to change that to capital score and then once we've done that we want to take our score box dot text and make it equal to score which is our new score then if we've given points to this particular instance we can break out of the switch statement and so to add the other cases what I'll do is I'll just copy this and paste it and then paste it once again and change it to 50 and to 25 and so if it's a medium sized let's say asteroid then the score will be plus 50 points and if it's a small asteroid then we get 100 points alright let's test this out we'll hit control enter and we'll see if the scoring is handled correctly there's 10 points and you can see we're getting the correct points if I shoot a small sized asteroid I get 100 points medium is 50 so that handles the scoring right there